Today I'm going to be showing y'all a ton of different fall outfit ideas. Personally, what's in my closet at the moment that I'm going to be wearing for this fall season, including some really trendy pieces that I've seen. I have clothes from Madewell. There's H&M. There's Boom. There's Nectar Clothing, which is a new boutique that I found online. You can use my code Lauren May from now until November 15th to get all of your fall clothes and even start getting some of your winter clothes. It's already October and it's literally going to be Christmas before we know it, which is crazy. But let's go ahead and get into all of these outfit ideas and trends for fall 2021. The first thing I want to talk about are sweater sets and the sage green color that I have already seen everywhere this fall. This set I got from Boehm and I really think it's one of my new favorite tops. I've already worn it like three times and there's actually three different ways that you can style this. So this is your first three outfit ideas. The first way is you can just wear it how it comes online with the tank top underneath and the little sweater jacket unbuttoned. And I think this is really cute. I'm going to pair it with my Levi 501 shorts and probably just some white sneakers. The second way that you can wear it is actually take the tank top off or you can leave it on and just have these two buttons in the middle. So you have these two pieces popping out on top as well as the bottom. The third way to wear it is to style it with a sweater vest just with the long sleeve jacket on underneath. I got this sweater vest from H&M. H&M has the best basics I feel like. I feel like some places you go and buy basics and they are so overpriced. They're like $42, $36 and an H&M, this was $12.99, I think. And then I also got another top from them that's a basic and it was, I think, $10 maybe. So they're really affordable and they're a great place to find basics at, really cheap. Whereas if you go on like an online clothing store, they might be over $30. If you're a college student, you're trying to save and have a budget, that's great. But I have this white sweater vest from H&M, like I said. Personally, I never thought that a sweater vest would look good on me and like be my style. But lately I've been trying to kind of step out my comfort zone. And I actually really love the way that this looks so I'm gonna try to buy more pieces that I wouldn't normally wear so if you're also trying to expand your fashion you just gotta try new things you can also wear the sweater vest with a black long sleeve for example I got this black long sleeve also from H&M it's not a bodysuit but you can still tuck it into your shorts or jeans whatever you're wearing you can also wear this long sleeve black shirt by itself you can dress it down with some white jeans and maybe a jean jacket or you can dress it up and wear it with some heels it's just super versatile and again basics are the way to go because you can just do so much with them the next thing i want to talk about are basics and bodysuits i'm currently wearing this mocha colored one and it's a bodysuit i have it tucked into my shorts right now i also have this black tank top bodysuit as well as this cream colored bodysuit that's long sleeve and has some button details all three of these are from bohm if you're looking for a cheaper option again i'm sure you can find some of these basics on h m i actually got these two tank tops from Amazon. I think they were maybe five dollars each. I'll have them linked. I'll have everything linked in the description box where you can go and buy them. But they're cropped and these are great to wear underneath things. They're great to wear with a jacket. You can wear these with your jean jacket, with shackets, which I'll talk about in a little bit. I also got some tank tops in the same color, white and tan from Nectar Clothing. It's an online clothing boutique that I found recently and they actually sell Levi's denim. I got a pair of 501 shorts from them. They also have like regular jeans and stuff. I just found them and I only got these basics but I definitely want to buy more blouses and just sweaters from them because they have really cute clothes. I think these were like $15 maybe but like I said if you're looking for a really cheap option Amazon is the place to go. Some ideas on how you can dress up basics for example I would wear this mocha colored bodysuit with a blazer. If you're trying to kind of dress it up a little bit blazers are another really trendy thing this fall. I actually have a black blazer that's kind of cropped. It's from Boehm. You can even wear it with a jean jacket. I also have a white jacket that I could wear with it as well. There's so many options. For this white long sleeve bodysuit, I would probably style this with a shacket. I have two shackets from Boehm. It would look really cute with each of them and just maybe some shorts or some jeans. And lastly, this black tank top bodysuit. Honestly, I could just wear this by itself. If you watched a few vlogs back, I wore this to class one day with just my shorts and then I wore my little tan crossbody with it when I was going out to the mall to buy a few things and it looked really cute 
cute. It was super like casual on the go outfit and it was really comfortable as well. So the great thing about these bodysuits is that you can wear it by itself. If it's warmer or if it's in the summertime, you can layer jackets on top of them. If it's colder in the fall or winter, there's just so many ways that you can style them. And that's why I think it's just such a staple for every girl to have in their closet. Okay, like I mentioned, shackets are gonna be a huge trend this fall. I have two from Bohm. I have this tan colored one that's plaid and this pink colored one if I want more of a pop of color. I got a small medium in both of these and you definitely don't need to size up because they already fit really oversized. So just keep that in mind if you're going to buy these that you don't need to size up. They're already oversized to begin with. But these are just so cozy and I can already tell you I'm gonna be wearing them so much this fall. I love them. Next, I wanted to show two of my favorite sweaters that I've gotten from Madewell. If you watched my vlog a few weeks back, I got this kind of darker tan brownish one. I just unbuttoned the two on top right here and it looks really cute with some jeans. And then I actually got this one last year. I like to leave this bottom one unbuttoned and tuck it in to my shorts and have this one kind of hanging down still. Really, really cute. Again, just something easy to kind of throw on if you're running late or running out the door. Blazers are gonna be a big trend. Here's my black one. You could wear it with this bodysuit and some white jeans, maybe some heels if you're trying to dress it up. And then lastly, two staples for every single season are jean jackets. I have this jean jacket and I also have this white jacket that I've worn a lot from Bohm. You can style it with some of those basics I showed you and some sneakers or some booties, just whatever. So easy to style and put together. I also wanted to share some of my favorite jeans and where I get my favorite jeans from. Most of the time my jeans are either from Madewell or Bohm. I have several pairs from Bohm that I've gotten. I have this pair that has a lot of rips. The relaxed jean is definitely in. It's been in for a while. So I have a ton of these pairs. Y'all already know Madewell has some of the best jeans. They are a little more pricey. So if you're looking for more affordable jeans, definitely Bohm has them because Madewell jeans get a little expensive for every season. I feel like you need a pair of white jeans and a pair of black jeans. They're just so easy to dress up. For shoes, boots are trending for fall. This season, I have seen more of those white kind of chunky boots and I just ordered a pair off Target. I went on Target and I found a pair from Universal Thread, I think, and they are so cute. They're coming in on Monday. If I get them by the time this video goes up, you will see them in the shot right now, but I'm really excited to wear those. I also have several fall boots from Tom's as well. Okay, I'm hopping in this video to show these shoes that I got from Target yesterday. I went to the mall the other day and I was looking at the shoes. I found a pair of loafers that looked similar to these, but they were $70 and I was like, that's a little too much for me. So I looked on Target and I found this pair for $24 and they are so cute. They'll match with literally any sweater that you have. And they were so inexpensive compared to the $70 ones I found at the mall. So I just wanted to include these in this video. I'll link them in the description box. They're by the brand A New Day, but they're just so pretty and simple. And like I said, they'll match with anything. And also loafers have been a huge trend this year. I have yet to get a pair, but once again, I'm trying to kind of step out of my comfort zone. So I might buy a pair and who knows, maybe I'll love them. For bags, I just want to mention one that I've seen a lot of people wear recently and that is tote bags. I got this one from an event at church several years ago and I just never thought to wear it. They're really cute and it looks really cute with that little sweater set that I saw. Also pops of color, not only in sweaters, but in jewelry as well. I ordered a pair of these gorgeous earrings from Ana Luisa that I will show y'all. Once again, they're in the mail somewhere on their way to my house. I just don't have them yet, but they are gorgeous and I can't wait to wear them kind of as a statement piece and a pop of color. So that is all I wanted to talk about for these fall outfit ideas and trends. I really hope y'all found this helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know one thing that you've seen trending and one outfit idea that you got from this video. And also make sure you subscribe for more weekly videos from me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye. Thank you.